It's a UFC featherweight division fight. Well, it's always exciting when you have such a high-level Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. This man has been a master of the submission in the UFC, and even though a lot of people know what's coming, more often than not, they're unable to stop. Because the knowledge, the knowledge of the jiu-jitsu game is truly something that it's hard to replicate when a guy is as good as he is. I mean, he will jump for a triangle. He will jump for an arm bar. And as you slam him to the ground, he starts to understand, OK, I'm right where I need you right now. This is when the game starts for him. If he doesn't secure that submission, he gets you where he needs you to be in order to start to really make you drown. It's like going in deep water oh. and getting pulled down over and over again because every time you think, if I do this, it'll make it better, it just makes it worse. And best of luck trying to find a training partner to simulate this guy in the gym. It can't happen, and it won't happen. All right, so here's the young contender, Yair Rodriguez, a big win over the Korean zombie Chan Sung Jung in November of 2018. Really put him back on the fast track. Big spot for Yair here tonight. Yeah, it's a big moment for Yair Rodriguez. He's one of those guys that you look at and you understand that there's a star quality about him. But then after you get past all of that, you realize that there's a fantastic fighter. The flying head kick of Andre Feely. Oh. That beautiful front kick that he landed against BJ Penn to finish him. Put him in a position where he fought Frankie Edgar and then a Korean zombie afterwards. He has truly earned his right to call himself one of the best featherweights in the entire world. But ever since he made his UFC debut, the focus has not just been contention, it has been to win a world title. He'll try to take a step in that direction here tonight. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. So two years, the gap in age, with some differences in height, but the same reach. All right, now for the particulars, he is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 15 wins, three losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Dead 50 K E K. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of. 13 wins, two losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois. Yeah, El Patera Rodriguez! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch gloves and we are underway. Ready. Folks, fasten your seat belts. This could end up being a very technical, very entertaining fight. I'm surprised they didn't bring out the geese for this one, Champ. I mean, you would have thought as a jiu-jitsu watcher that you would see these two competitors at a jiu-jitsu competition. But ultimately, they are meeting in the octagon, and you are about to see jiu-jitsu in the UFC like we've never seen before. Straight punch land. Just out of the range with that right hand. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the king. 
Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Hands higher, hands higher. Moving to his left now. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Rodriguez gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Take your face off. Take your face. Oh, here's the head kick. It's blocked. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Nice kick. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent where he wants. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top of the throw? Side control now. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Well, pretty good work off at the bottom here by Rodriguez. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from bottom. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Nowadays, you see guys just throwing little shots that don't really matter. Very few guys now are committed to ground and pound as they were in the past. Great punch. I mean, he's touching down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. He's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. He hurt him. Spinning back fist. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Shot to the body now blocked by Rodriguez. And they separate. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Got the single collar tie. Rodriguez gets tattooed by a solid uppercut there. Can't take too many more of those. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Just missed with the left there. All right, so a big round for him there, DC. We'll go back and look at some of the highlights. Big knockdown for him. We'll see if he can follow it up. You could see that he was flowing. Everything was working in accordance to what he wanted it to be. And at the moment that it showed itself, the moment that the opportunity arrived, he jumped on it, got that big knockdown, and now he finds himself ahead in this fight. You ready to fight? Ready. 
All right, round two. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Right hand upstairs. Just misses there with the left. Big punch land through the middle. He's throwing every part of himself. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown for him. Beautiful entry there. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there, nasty. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Under three minutes now to go in round two. Oh, and he gives up his back here, DC. I know you've never had your back taken in the UFC. You've never been submitted. Uh, but this is not a good spot for the defensive fight. It's not a very good spot for him. But the guy on the bottom needs to stay patient. He cannot panic. He needs to find a way to get back to his back. Lay on his mat. He's got to get his back back to the mat. He has to get his back back to the mat. So then he can start to work on his defensive transition. You don't want a guy like this who's so good at controlling this position just on top of you and right of you. Take your time, but get back to your back and start to try to recover your half guard. All right, trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. All right, got to be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John. That's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions. And now he's jumping on the triangle. Let's get going. Let's get going now. Just up. Oh! Oh, big diving punch to the head. Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. So a much different approach. Big leg kick land. Oh, nice. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job fighting the range to land those punches. Oh, nasty cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. to the left hand now, unable to connect. Strong defense there to block the shot. Wow. And that's...
that's the end of round number two. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. Ready to fight. Ready. Third round underway. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And they separate. Just out of range with that right hook. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Nice defense there. Huge block. Pretty good job staying patient as he lands the counter strike there. Strong work by Rodriguez. It's not over, it's not over. Keep moving. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Strike blocked by Yair Rodriguez. Nice liver shot lands. Back to the feet. Just over three minutes to go in round three. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Rodriguez gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Punches blocked. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh! Huge right hand! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. like it did stun him a little bit. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Takedown defense holds up. Beautiful body kick. That one was going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Start looking to finish now because he's got oh. his opponent who's very bad. Oh, and he lands another knee there. DC, it doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Oh, man, he's got his back. He's going to drag him to the floor into his world where he'll try to chase the submission. Beautiful punch. Hey, set him up. Set him up. There it is. Cover, cover. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Rodriguez strike attempt there is blocked. 
Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Rodriguez gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Oh! Oh, he might be out. Entertaining scrap so far. All right, and there's the horn, and you hear the collective sigh from the crowd. They're all watching that lip, and we're monitoring it as well. Nasty, nasty gash. It's only getting worse by the moment. Doctor called in here. We'll see if he stops the fight. All right, let's check out some of the action DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loot punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Rodriguez. Right hook to the head block. Punches in bunches. Wow! to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, just misses with the kick. Missed with that attempt. What a body kick. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Oh, he's there. He's got him right here. Oh, my goodness. Let's go. Set up that takedown. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, that cut on the nose really becoming a factor now. It's only getting worse. Pouring blood out here. Oh, big punch lands. Nice leg kick. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Stuffs the takedown. No oh, and there's the double leg takedown, DC. That is just too good, too easy. Too good, too easy. The timing was just too good. Before he could even defend, he's already off of his feet, going backwards. It's hard to run backwards, and that's what happens when this guy hits the double leg. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Yair Rodriguez. Oh, tags him again with a flush left hand. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Lands the grounded pound strike here. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Doing good. It's okay. Move, use your foot. 
trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. The bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. Let's see if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work, make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound, but very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. Oh, that'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. His nose is all crooked. It's all beat up. It's bleeding. He got hurt bad. That nose looks broken. Lands the ground and pound strike. 20 seconds left. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, oh, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Take a seat, bud. Listen, we're down on the scorecards. I need you to fight smart. If you start losing the stick... You ready to fight? You ready? Fifth and final round. Punch to the body. No good, it's blocked. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Good job keeping that head up. Oh, huge right hand. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh. Calm down. Calm down. Man. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt right back. Oh, that's a nice strike. Nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Under three minutes now to go in the fight. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. 
Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans will have a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 23 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by knockout, Dan 50 k -E Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.